Hi guys, just thought I'd uh, take you through some of the manufacturing processes that go behind the bike. And I've just taken this rear swing arm as an example. This is a plastic model and this is our starting point. So when we're happy with the design, we print them out on our 3D printers in-house. Uh, we can then check things like the fit with components, the, the function of some of the parts, like this little lever here, uh, the chain line, the cable stay. We do cable routing to make sure everything works well with a fold. And when we're happy with it, then we'll produce drawings and send it off for manufacture. So there's a few different processes that go into this part. We've got the tubular parts here that form the chain stays. These are tapered, so they start off as a single round tube that's formed into a tapered shape that's then curved uh, into these, these, uh, these profiles here. Um, and then there's the, the machine parts either end, so these start their lives as blocks of material, which uh, the, the shape is then cut away by a, a milling tool into, the, into the, the form shapes that you see here. Before we do any welding, we need to, to clean the parts. So the, the parts are dipped in, in baths of acid, which removes any residue on the surface and just ensures a really good weld. So the next step is that these are loaded into a fixture. Uh, the fixture's job is to hold everything in place exactly where we want it. So it has to be quite stiff. Uh, and it's, it's adjustable and it allows things to be clamped down temporarily during welding and then released when, when the welding's done. So the first step is to load all the parts into the, into the fixture, clamp everything down. We then do tack welding, which is just a, a small amount of weld just to hold things in place for checking. We'll then take the first one off the fixture, uh, load in a wheel, uh, brakes, and a few other bits and pieces just to check that everything works as we expect before we do the full weld. So that allows us to tweak the position of certain parts of the fixture if required. Things like the, the brake boss, um, if you know we need to, to modify that position. So once we're happy with that, the full welding is done. So the, the part is loaded into the fixture and full welding is performed. Um, at that point, we are then ready to send it through for heat treatment. So we start off with T4 heat treatment, um, which brings the metal back to its solid solution state. So at that point, it'll be quite a soft material. It'll be um, uh, relatively easy to, to, to form. So when it comes back from T4 heat treatment, uh, we then need to do an alignment process because during welding, there'll be some stresses introduced that will be relaxed during the, the heat treatment. So everything will be a little bit out of, out of place. So the parts are placed onto an, uh, an alignment table. There'll be some jigs that hold the uh, the, the, the various parts in, in the correct alignment and then other tools will be used to check the levels and they'll be bashed and, and bent into shape exactly as we need them. Then when we're happy with the that all the parts are fully aligned they'll be sent off for T6 heat treatment. So T6 is a, it's a shorter process um, and it's, to, uh, it's an aging process so basically to accelerate the aging of the material which increases the strength. So um, that's why it's done in, in that order, T4 first, alignment, and then T6. So once the heat treatment's done, uh, the, the part is ready for painting. So it's sent off to the paint shop, and the first, the first step is uh, the surface prep. So there'll be a phosphate coating applied, which is um, to allow the paint to adhere better to the metal part. And then there's three coats of paint. So there's uh, the base coat, which is a white primer. Then there's the color itself. And then finally, there's a top coat, which is a transparent hard coating that acts to protect the, the paint. Uh, and that's it. Once the, the paint's baked, it's, it's ready to go on the bike as a finished part. <laughs> Did you want the sound effects? <laughs>